Hey guys, today's message is about the numbers 5 and 17 in the Bible. When I was in prayer this morning, I read Romans 5, 17, which says, For if by one man's offense, and now that is Adam, so through Adam, death reigned by Adam, death reigned by one. Much more, it's one of the much more verses. I've got another YouTube video on the much more verses. They which receive the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one, Jesus Christ. Shall reign in life by one, Jesus Christ. Our Lord is teaching us to reign. So remember, by one man's offense, Adam, death reigned by one. Sin came into the world and sin perfected is death. So then Jesus Christ gave us the, gave you, Jesus Christ gave you the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness, the free gift of righteousness. Not repent of your sins when you believed him believed on his death as payment for all of your sins. He took away your sins. He gave you the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. And I don't know why, I just felt like one of you needed to hear this this morning, like I had to, I had to go and record this video before I left. So the fifth number of the Hebrew alphabet, remember it's 517. The fifth number of the Hebrew alphabet it says the fifth time Noah's name is mentioned, it says Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Remember, we're saying that five is the number of grace. The fifth time Ruth's name is mentioned, it says that Ruth found grace in the eyes of Boaz. The fifth time David's name is mentioned in 1 Samuel, it says David found favor. When David went to slay Goliath, he picked up five smooth stones. No insignificant name or number in the Bible. Sometimes it takes a little while to figure out why they're there. And he slew the enemy. So another example, oh, and then I also want to tell you that He is the fifth letter of the Hebrew alphabet. And He means grace. Now, if you talk to Hebrews, if you, if you talk to a Jew who does not know Christ, he does not know that the fifth letter of the Hebrew alphabet is grace. He says it's a window. And the reason they don't know it's grace yet is because many of the Jews are still under the law and they have not accepted grace. They have not accepted Christ. So grace is hidden from their eyes. Now, another example the number 17. Jeremiah prayed 17 prayers in the Old Testament. The 17th prayer, after the 17th prayer, God told him where to go to buy the piece of property. He said, Behold, Hanamiel, the son of Shalom, thine uncle, shall come unto thee, saying, Buy thee my field that is in Anathoth, for the right of redemption is thine to buy it. Jeremiah 32, 7. So here's a name. Hanamiel means God is great. Anathoth means, in Hebrew, means the answer to prayer. And he gave him the money. God gave him the money. It was 17 shekels of silver. Silver being the number of redemption. And you'll see there in that verse, the right of redemption. So let's talk about 17 in another place. 17 is the number of victory. The Bible tells us very clearly in Genesis 8, 4, that the ark came to rest in the mountains of Ararat on the seventh day, month, on the 17th day. Not easy for me to say on the seventh month and the 17th day. This is exactly the day that Jesus rose from the dead. It is the day of first fruits. And Jesus is the first fruits of the resurrection. Arar from Ararat in Hebrew means the curse. 
Ararat means the curse is reversed. Now, in Romans 8, 35 and 39, we have another example of victory. Who shall, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? So there's seven, uh, the number of perfection in the beginning, but then it goes on. As it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, that's 10, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, depth, nor any other creature, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. No, none of those 17 things are going to be able, able to separate us. That's from Romans 8, 35 through 39. Remember, my favorite verse, the verse after which Grace Party is named is, for God so loved you, for God so loved you, that he gave his only begotten son. And again, it says only begotten. I didn't realize, I would, I'm like, why does it say only begotten? Because it's not Muhammad that saves you. It is not Buddha who saves you. It's not Joseph Smith who saves you. It is his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, for God so loved you that he gave his only gave his only begotten son that whosoever are you a whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life should not perish remember those 17 things that cannot take your should not perish away from you that cannot take your eternal life away from you in John it says no one will snatch you out of his hand you are held tightly he will not let go of you and i hope this is good news for whoever you are this morning that this message was for i hope this is good news for you and you have a great day this is steve bye